So what is a broad match keyword on Google AdWords? When you're running a Google AdWords campaign, you have three choices of keyword types when you're bidding in the auction. And those are exact match, broad match, and phrase match. In this video, I'm just gonna talk about broad match. So you're going to go over to your keywords or you're gonna create an ad group, let's just say. And you're going to go here and enter. Now yours might look a little bit different. There's different types of Google AdWord um, dashboards depending on if you're using one of their uh, beta um, dashboards or something older. But here, if you wanted to enter a, um, a broad match keyword would be something like, um, let's just say um, pet food. Okay. Broad match says, hey Google, I'm willing to bid on the keyword pet food and any similar keyword that you think is related to pet food, even if pet or food is not in the keyword phrase. So they might charge you for dog food, for cat food, for organic cat morsels, for dog treats, for anything they think is related to the keyword pet food. So be careful when you're bidding on a broad match because you're gonna, you could pay for all kinds of things that, ha that don't have any intent. Um, I'll give you an example. So for my real estate business, I might bid on a zip code. So I might bid on 89135. And when, they, when the person Googles 89135, they land on um, an ad that has homes for sale in 89135. But that person might have been Googling um, a, a restaurant. They could have been in, they could have been looking for group homes in 89135. They could be looking for parks in 89135. They could be looking for anything in 89135. But Google thinks, okay, this is the person that seems to be the authority on 89135. So let me just send everybody to there. And, and it may absolutely be no, of no interest to you whatsoever. You might be bidding on pet food, but then they send you something, uh, they, they, the person is actually looking for exotic sugar glider remedies for their illness, and you don't have anything to do with sugar gliders, but Google may assume that there's some sort of relation and you might bid on it. I've seen everything. I can, some of the, some of the, some of the similarities are so not similar. Um, so you have to be careful about that. And I would only suggest doing a broad match keyword phrase if you're going to be looking at this on a daily basis when you're first getting started and you're starting with a, um, a lower, maybe a lower budget. You know, as a real estate agent, I might want to put in a broad match like real estate. Okay. That's a, that's a pretty safe one. You know, there's, there's not a whole lot with those words real estate, but there could be something called the real something, you know, real bicycles of Nevada and Google might think they're somehow similar. Um, but I would do that and just check it on a daily basis. And the re only reason I would do a broad match keyword personally is if I'm trying to find all, all of the keywords people are using around that um, in, my, in my search term, list so that I can get ideas for my organic marketing and for my Facebook ads. And I'm kind of buying that data. So it's okay if, if I'm bidding around it, because I'm kind of trying to look at what people are searching around there that maybe my keyword tools are, are, are not, there's not enough search, unique searches, so they're not, or, or collective searches, so they're not sending me enough data. And I might want to do it that way. Now, if you're going to do a broad search, um, a broad match keyword, what you do is in the box here, you just simply type in just like that. If I were doing a phrase match, which I'll cover in another video, I would put quotes around it. And if I were doing exact match, I'm going to put brackets around it. And that's what makes these different. Now, one thing you should note is let's just say you import a list of keywords here and none of them ha have brackets or quotes, you don't want to go through each one to do it. What you can actually do is just list your keywords here normally, then add them. And then once you've added them, just click on this little 
checkbox to select all or click the ones you want to choose. And then up here, simply go to, oh, I need to get out of that box to do it. Hold on, let me just add one keyword. I'm just going to add test and then I'll get rid of it. Okay, so once I've added it and you've added your list of keywords and you've selected an add group to add it to, actually I'm going to add one I can actually use. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to click save and then just find your keyword and select it or the selection of keywords you want to change. Go up here to edit. Then you can change match type. Anything that was broad match, change to phrase match or change to exact match. So it's okay to dump a big pile of them in there under broad match then select them and change them to exact match or phrase match. If you duplicate them, then you'll actually have both. You'll have the exact match and you'll have um, the broad match. Of course, you can pause them, but that, that's how it works. So that's how you do a broad match when you're running pay-per-click ads in your Google AdWords campaign.